everyone, my name is Kelly. So today I'm going to show you how to cut someone else's hair. Um, so usually you see tutorials of me cutting my own hair, but today I'm just going to show you how to cut some hair, whether you're cutting it for your wife, your daughter, or just for, you know, a friend, you will know how to cut uh, someone's hair. So here I have Anna. Okay, her hair is about this length. And today we'll do a lob. So a lob is very popular right now. It's one of those you know, up to here with soft edges and then not too much layers. So with the lob, it's actually not layers, it's just actually texture at the bottom. Because when you add in a lot of layers for someone who's low maintenance, it takes them a long time to style because there's so many layers. So with the lob, um, it is a straight look, but it is um, textured ends. So there's a difference between blunt and straight. So to me, uh, and all of these is just my preference, my advice, so um, take it if it works for you so it's not written in stones. So a blunt cut is when you cut everything one length. That's a blunt cut. Straight cut is the line that is straight. So sometimes the lines are diagonal, okay? So when you call it straight, it means it's straight across. But when you call it blunt, it is the weight or the look at the bottom of the hair. So with the lob that's very popular nowadays, it's not a blunt cut, it's a straight look, but it's a soft end, which I will show you how to do that. And it's not layers in the hair, it's just textures in the hair to make it softer on the end so that when you cut it, and when you wear it and style it, it's not heavy at the bottom. A lot of time if you find hair looks flat, it's because the bottom is very heavy. So once you uh, soften the bottoms, it will automatically uh, you know, give lift to the rest of the hair. That's how you can achieve fullness without having layers. And those of you who have layers or short layers, which is very hard to style, you know what I mean. So before you cut someone, uh, you definitely need a mirror, okay? Um, and the mirror helps you to see. So a cape, this is what a cape looks like. It's just covering up someone so that you don't get hair all over them. So, you can get this anywhere at a beauty supply store. Okay, there. So sometimes, uh, some people put it at the back like this. If you find that it gets in your way because of this, then you can always reverse it. So you can always put this at the front and this one at the back. So it's up to you. So my suggestion is before you cut hair, uh, I suggest to straighten it, whether it's wavy or curly. Cutting on straight hair is always a lot easier to cut because you can see what you're doing. And also it's important to cut the hair when it's dry because you don't wear your hair when it's wet. It's hair shrinks when it's dry, so if you cut it on wet, it would be shorter when it's dry. And also when it's dry, you, when you cut it, you can see exactly how you're cutting and also the client can see exactly what you're doing. So I personally love to cut hair when it's dry. So even though Anna hair is straight or seems straight, there's still some little wavy, some kinks into it. So I'm just gonna straighten it really straight so that it's easier to cut. So you can section the hair. Um, you can section smaller sections, but just to speed things up, I'm just going to um, do it a little faster. So a flat iron and a comb, okay. I love to use a longer comb because I find that it helps to hold the hair for me when I'm cutting. There's a lot of comb out there, but the smaller one is harder to cut and it doesn't hold the hair. The comb acts like your third hand. So make sure when you're cutting, try to get a longer comb. So I'm just gonna straight iron Anna's hair, okay? Make sure when you're cutting, you are comfortable. If they're too low, you can always rise them up. Okay. So I'm just going to flat iron and a hair so it's completely straight. So just straighten it out. Okay. So it's nice and straight. So usually you can straighten um, the whole thing and then start cutting. But I'm just going to cut as I'm going along. Okay, so what I'm using today is the cutting shears. Okay, so let's say the lob. Always cut less than what you intend to cut. 
So, so let's say if Anna want to cut it this short, I would actually cut it at here because even though the person or the client or the friend says they want it short, but sometimes they don't even sure of what they want. So it's best that you leave extra length just in case it was too short for them and you can't grow the hair back. I'm gonna use the comb, okay, to hold the hair, okay, and I go in and I point cut. So this is me point cutting. Okay. So that is point cutting. You can see that. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you what is a blunt cut. So I'm just going to use it as an example. Okay. So you see what I mean? This is a straight line, but it's a blunt cut. See how heavy it is? Over here, I will make it a straight line, but it's softer on the ends. So that's what I mean. When you have the ends a bit softer like this, it gives an illusion of more fullness on the top. If you keep it blunt and heavy like this, then it makes the top look flatter. Now, if your hair is fine uh, to low density, then you can have it more heavy like this just to have it more full. But if your hair is from medium to high density, then it's best to do this point cutting so that it adds more volume for you. So I'm point cutting in, see, point cut. So just put the scissor in and just point cut it and soften the edge. If you do small point cutting, you're gonna get a bit heavier ends. If you go deeper into the point cutting, then you're gonna get more softer ends. Okay. And this is personal preference. You can deep cut as much as you like, okay? Okay, so I just want you to see the difference. Straight line, softer ends, okay? Straight line, blunt ends, okay? This is straight line, but softer ends. So these two are the difference when you're cutting hair or how you want your hair to look like. So a lot of time when you see people who have the nice beachy wave lock, the ends of the hair are more softer. That's why when you look at it, it's more softer on the ends, whereas this is very blunt and heavy. Okay, so it's all personal preference. Both have good and bad. It's just whichever one you prefer. So Anna prefer more of the softness so she can have more volume on the top. So I'm gonna make this into that. So now I'm just gonna to continue to cut Anna's hair, okay, with the point cutting. The ends are more softer and there's a lot more movement in the hair. So there are softness but they're not layers. Okay, so now I'm going to continue to straight iron Anna's hair and cut everywhere else.
my guideline is here so i know that already okay but if you didn't see the guideline you would have to section smaller section until you see it see how when you comb the hair you can still see the guideline but in this case i have the chair as my guideline so i'm just going to carry all the hair if you want the hair to go longer at the front meaning it's like a diagonal like this then bring all this hair back okay because you're over directing the front to the back so it'll save you some length at the front okay so use the comb to hold your hair there is my guide and i'm just going to point cut into anna's hair see when you straighten the hair it's a lot easier to see where you're cutting and what you're cutting okay so here's the length at the front so if you want it long at the front then try not to take it any more of that you can cut more into the center here but if you want the front to be a little longer then try not to cut this too much so eventually it'll look like a bit of a house roof like that at the back if you want to have the diagonal at the front if you don't then you can just cut that straight across So this is how I cross-check. Divide the hair in half, bring the hair to the front. Okay. So do you see how it's longer at the front and a little bit diagonal at the back? So you can go as short as the back as you want, okay? Now after you cut, make sure you cross-check the hair. So let's say if Anna wanted on a diagonal, then you just have to even out. So here you can see this side a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna go in and point cut that. But after that, hold the hair down, make sure they're even, and then just cut off what you feel you need. As you cut, you will gain experience and you will figure out what you like and what you don't like. So you can use my video as a guideline for you and after you know how to cut it or you're familiar with it then you can change it or alter it to whatever suits you best so looks pretty even okay now Anna do you want to keep the front longer or do you want some layers um it's layers okay so that's personal preference some people like it straighter at the front some people want some layers so how to cut layers. So since I have her hair parted in half, okay, I'm going to use the comb to hold the hair for me. So let's say, where do you want your layer to start? From the nose or from the chin? From the chin. Okay, so here's her chin, right? So angle, and you're just going to point cut on a little bit of the layers. See what I'm doing? By you doing this, okay, it's softer for Anna. There's no line, but yet you have more softness around her face. So if you can see the difference between one side with layers, okay, and the other side not. Okay, so this adds some framing around her face, and this is more straight. So there's just personal preference of what you like. And if you want it more lighter around her face, then you can deep point cut the hair in a bit more. So see, deep point cut. It'll add more softness and layers around her face. Okay. How's that, Anna? 
That's good. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same on this side. So when you're here, same thing, use the comb as your hand. Okay. And then find her chin, which is here. Okay, right there is her chin. And then just soft point cut. So in this case, you have to cut short point cutting first to get the framing. And then after that, you can deep point cut if you like. Okay, you see how there's a bit more framing and layer around her? And then you can just eyeball and see where you need to enhance her layers or even out. Okay, so once you determine Okay, the layers, now you can go in and deep point cut it if you like. See? Again, cut little because you can always cut more. Don't go scissor happy and chopped off too much. And then after you cut the layers, you double check or cross check again. Make sure both sides are even, okay? And cut any odd pieces. Then, Anna, what do you think? You find the layers are okay? Yep. That's okay. Good. And the length is okay too? Yep. Okay. So now, let's say this is Anna's hair. Straight line, but soft ends. Let's say I'm gonna put in some layers in her hair, just create some volume a little bit more. So what I do, I'm going to start from the front and I'm going to take slices, okay? So if you see here, here's her head. I'm going to part slices. I'm going to over direct like this. See? Point cut softness. You see how soft that is? Okay and then let that piece out. Take some of it as a guideline and then take your next section. So every time you take a new section, make sure you take some of the older sections as a guideline. Over direct. So here's the length of her hair. Here's the top part. So you're just going to cut it by feel and just cut off point cutting like this so it adds fullness. Not too short layers, but just softness. Okay, let that down. Take some of the pieces from the old section and add to the new. Over direct. Okay, see? See where there's heaviness? Just trim that, point cut that. So what I'm doing right now is very deep point cutting. So it adds softness into her interior without too much shorter layers. Okay, get that down and you're gonna carry that on to the rest of the hair. When I'm pulling the hair from one side over to the other, I'm over directing. By me doing that, it helps me to keep the length of her hair, which is here, and cutting the layers, which is the interior. So this was my old guy line. So I'm gonna trim the hair, point cut the hair like that until 
it meets the guideline. So that's what it means by over directing. So when this falls down, this is the top layer, okay? And this was the bottom length that we didn't touch. So when I let that down like this, you can see that it blends her hair, okay? Again, over direct, make sure they keep their head straight because if they follow your your direction, then they're not we're not over directing, right? So point cut. Wherever you see heaviness, you can tell by the shadow, just give it a point cutting. So by you lightening the interior, okay, it helps to lift the hair, which give it some layers. When I let that down, the layer is here. The length is down here, so it blends nicely. After you finish, you're going to part a horseshoe. Okay, this is cross-checking. Make sure the top is even. Okay, if it's not, then you can give it a bit more trim. See how heavy this here? I'm gonna point cut it a bit more. So it lightens the top, giving her more volume. So I'm just point cutting, okay? And then I'm gonna part down the ear, this side, down the ear, this side. So I'm gonna separate the front and just cross check my layers at the back. Okay, vertical to if you cut horizontal, you're going to part vertical to cross check straight out. See how there's a bit of weight there? I'm going to soft that with my point cutting. Okay. So when I let that down, you can see the movement in Anna's hair. So you can wear this straight or you can wear it wavy. So see, even though it looks straight, but you can see all the movement and the layers in Anna's hair.